Welcome back to Crafty Concepts with Erin. I'm Erin and I'm here today with the creative design team for a Love Your Stash bonus challenge for the month of June. Hello, hello, welcome back. Today I'm creating a double page scrapbook layout featuring the Yesterday and Today paper collection. So I have these photos of my kids and they were at kind of this uh, historical reenactment of the gold mining days. And so it was a really fun trip and I wanna document these today. I really love this yesterday and today paper pack. I actually bought several packets because it has a very heritage feel to it, but I thought it was Western too, and I have a lot of photos that will work well with this. I'm also bringing in a couple sheets of the wood grain paper from the wood grain paper pack from the annual catalog. So I'm starting with two sheets of vanilla cardstock, and I'm going to just experiment roughly with some photo placement ideas. I'm envisioning kind of a linear layout-ish, and the photos over here on the right are two and a half by three and three quarters, and then the squares are three and a half squared, and then the four by six. I've already cut a couple strips of paper here. We have this wood grain I'm gonna put on the top portion, and then on the bottom, I will have this kind of rustic brown espresso pattern paper here. I wanna add a little bit of character and distress the edges. This distressing tool is no longer available, but I have seen people use the outside edge of their scissors and say that works really well, so you can always try that. This is an extra little step I really like to do because I think it just adds a lot of interest and it adds texture to your layout too. Just kind of something else to take in, another detail. I've done the other side off camera and now I want to bring in some vertical strips to kind of offset those horizontal ones. I have toffee ink and right here in the corner where those two are going to intercept, I'm going to add a little bit of ink blending. So I'm just using my foam blending tool here and and just applying that ink. I'm starting underneath where my paper will be and then working out so I don't get any harsh circles that way or darker ink spots or anything like that. So again, starting underneath and just kind of work your blending out as far as you want it to go. This is going to be a spot where I place embellishments and I love doing this. You can add some stamping or some ink blending or stenciling to the background. It's kind of the base layer that you then build up your embellishments from there. You can see I added that little pattern zip strip where my two pattern papers met and I think that just gives it a more finished look. And I'm using my micro tip scissors to cut up from the center and then in from each corner to put a little dovetail banner in the end of these two vertical strips. It just adds a lot of character. Definitely something I do a lot. So I'm really happy with how the base of this layout is coming together. So I'm going to bring my photos back in. You can see I ran another one of those pattern zip strips across the center of the left-hand side of the page for consistency. And I think I'm going to kind of have these like this and then use that left corner above these square photos for my title. I wanna bring in more of that pattern paper to you know, complement the other side. So I thought a large or a wide photo mat around my focal photo would be a good idea. But I also wanna bring in more of that brown color just to help this photo stand out on that pattern paper background. So I'm bringing in the espresso, which is the color of the lower pattern paper there, and matting it onto this extra wide photo mat here. Now this was a workshop, so it came with lots of extra die cut pieces, including this little envelope here, and I thought this would be a great base layer for my title. So I'm just kind of layering these pieces, tucking them behind each other to develop this. I'm not quite sure where I want it to go, but I know I wanna add these little glossy foiled chipboard pieces. This is so cute. And here's another one. It's hard to appreciate that shine on camera, but they just have this kind of antique copper foiling to them and they're super cool. I wanna add more of that same inking to this side behind my embellishment clusters over here. So I brought back in that toffee color and I'm just repeating what I did on the other side. I, this is one of the reasons why I rarely put adhesive up to the edges because I always am needing to lift them up to tuck things under or do something like this. Um, so I always just move that adhesive in just a bit to give me that flexibility to make changes after the fact. 
We were visiting Columbia Historic State Park and every year they do this annual diggings where they set up this gold rush mining town and the kids love it. They went with a field trip the first time and then we just kind of visited on our own and they get to do all sorts of fun stuff and everything's very um, like it was. I mean, they really set it up how you would imagine it. So they get to mine for gold and they give them silver eagles to buy sarsaparilla in the saloon or candy from the general store and just really fun stuff. They even got to wash laundry in a bucket with like a, you know, a washboard, which they thought was great. Funny, they wouldn't think it's so great if they had to do it all the time, I'm sure. There's banjo music and old fashioned games. There's even a stagecoach ride that goes around and it's just a really cool place to visit. You can see I added one more area of that ink. I like to do things in threes and create that visual triangle. So that's why I put it down there below the photos. And I'm ready to bring in all my embellishments. So I will go ahead off camera and get everything in here down. And so now I did pull these from the coordinating sticker sheet and also die cut pieces from the workshop. So I'm just tucking them kind of behind this area here. And that little banner over there says then and now, which I thought was perfect. And the they have these kind of old fashioned flowers. And so I'm putting some, oh, and these little swirly pieces too. So just kind of experimenting with a few different placements. And I wanna put these over on the other side as well. So there's another one of those little flourishes and more flowers. So we wanna be sure to repeat these in the opposite side to just carry those over. They have a couple stars, which I thought were very Western. And like to me, these pictures and everything have that, you know, old town Western feel. For my title, I'm using this simple serif bundle and some craft paper. I'm going to go ahead off camera and I cut out the word diggins. So again, it's called the Columbia diggins. So I just wanted to make that my title. I really like this simple serif font because it is the perfect size to work for titles on your layouts and you're never ever going to run out of letters. You can always cut another one and cut it from papers to coordinate with your uh, layout perfectly. I remembered I had some wooden elements that went along with this collection. So I have this little key and a wooden flourish and I'm just going to tuck a couple of those in each of the clusters and I think those are so cool. And then I'm looking at the title and I felt it needed a little something to stand out. So I'm just taking my fine tip black marker and inking the edges. Markers work you know, really well for these intricate pieces and it just kind of helps it to stand out. It's subtle, but it catches your eye more. So it's something you can do or I like to do for letters. Another thing you could do is cut several of the letters and stack them on top of each other to help them stand out. I'm also doing just a little bit of ink distressing on these as well, just to give them kind of an, an aged look to them. I do want to add more to my title, but I'm kind of like a squirrel here bouncing around. I spotted some like antique bronze little brads here and I thought, oh, those are going to look good. So I'm putting a few of those in each cluster just to add that color and the metal element as well. So I'll tuck some over here by the title and I think that looks really cool. And then these word stickers I spotted from the sticker sheet and it says, remember when, and then these over here say good times, which I thought was very appropriate. So back to the title, since we're stash busting, I got one of my old fonts. This is called Chocolate Alphabet and I've mounted it on a block already and I'm going to stamp it on a piece of vanilla cardstock. This is just a scrap I have left over. I should have showed you guys how I line these up. I actually put them on my Versamat and use the grid lines on my Versamat and line them out that way and then pick them up with my block. To me, it's so much easier than actually trying to place them on my block. And then I'll stamp a couple times and if anything needs adjusting, I can do so and before I work on my project. This time I decided to fussy cut it out. So that is one thing you can do or you can stamp right onto your project. Another tip for creating titles is to mix and match fonts. So we have part of this as a stamped element that we're cutting out, and then the other one is die cuts. So not only, not only do we have different fonts, but we have kind of different textures, so to speak. So I like mixing and matching like that, and I think it creates a really nice look. 
I did type my journaling up on the printer and then inked up the edges and I'm going to put this right into this little spot here. And then I felt that it needed a little something over here so I found this die cut piece in the workshop and I'm just going to set it underneath these photos to give them kind of a shelf to sit on and anchor them together. I like the way that looks. I'm going to sneak some tape here and then we'll get that secured down into place and I think that looks cool. I forgot to add my journaling, so I'll quickly use a Heidi Swap date stamp and just tap that right onto the layout there. And then let's take a closer look at all of our embellishment clusters and layers going on here. Um, the other side is kind of my favorite. I love those vertical banners with that embellishment cluster up top. And there they are doing laundry. See, they're so happy. Isn't that funny? If you guys missed Jama's video yesterday, I'll go ahead and post that right here so you can check that out. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you were inspired. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you. Thanks, guys. See you next time.